عائلتك عملك المبنى الذي توجد فيه الآن الهواء الذي ينعشك والشخص الذي يزعجك الأرض التي تطأها قدماك المدينة، السيارات، السوق، الذهب الجدول الدوري بكل عناصره والنجوم والكواكب وكل ما صنع منه عالمك ليس إلا خمسة بالمئة فقط مما نعرفه عن الكون وهناك خمسة وتسعون بالمئة لا نعرف عنها شيئاً سوى أنها موجودة If we look at what the entire universe is made of, um, there's actually three main pieces. One is normal matter, stars and gas. The second is dark matter. And then the third is actually not matter at all. It's, it's dark, it, we call it dark energy. And uh, dark energy is, as far as we know, uh, seems to be actually a property of space itself, causing the current expansion of the universe to accelerate with time. Dark energy makes up about 70% of the universe. Dark matter makes up about 25% of the universe. And regular matter, which is essentially stars, gas, planets, everything that you and I are made of, that's just about 5%, just under 5% of the total of the universe. تأتي الدهشة في العلم عادة من حجم ما نعرفه. لكنها أحيانا تأتي مما لا نعرفه أيضا ما هي إذا هذه المادة المظلمة؟ So dark matter is as far as we know um, a substance which is matter just like regular matter but doesn't interact with light and that's why we call it dark matter So the way we know that dark matter exists is because it interacts with gravity. It interacts with gravity in exactly the same way as you and I do, as the Earth and the Sun do. Now, there's a question of whether it interacts at all outside of gravity, and that's something that we're looking for very hard. مادة مظلمة لا يمكننا رؤيتها. لا تتفاعل معنا أو مع الضوء بأي شكل من الأشكال لكننا متأكدون من وجودها فمن أين يأتي هذا اليقين؟ وكيف لنا أن نقدر كمها وموقعها دون أن نفهم ماهيتها؟ We have a really um, very precise uh, and predictive theory of gravity called general relativity. It was originally developed by Albert Einstein. It tells us about the relationship between how much stuff there is in the universe and what it does to uh, space itself and how it moves. We don't actually know the total mass of the universe because we don't know the total size of the universe. And in fact, we actually don't even know whether the size of the universe is infinite or finite. But we do know how much mass there is per unit volume. And we now have a whole bunch of different measurements that tell us how much of that mass is regular matter, things like stars and gas, mostly made of hydrogen and helium, and how much of it is not made of stars and gas, and in fact, not made of anything on the periodic table of elements or anything in the standard model of particle physics. And that is, it's that, it's that additional um, kind of matter that we call dark matter. إذا يقيننا بوجود المادة المظلمة ينبع من ثقتنا بنظرية عامة نسبية كتبها أينشتاين قبل أكثر من مئة عام ألا يخطئ أينشتاين مثلنا أحيانا؟ If the only evidence we had had to do with the motions of stars in galaxies and the motions of galaxies in clusters, I think it would be much easier to kind of wiggle out of it by just tweaking general relativity a little bit. Um, but that's not the only evidence we have. We actually have a whole bunch of different lines of evidence. Um, general relativity is, is one of the most well-tested theories that we have. Of course, you know, we, we always can have surprises, and so it could be that it will break at some point, and that would actually be quite thrilling. Um, but I would say if you ask most scientists today, 
Uh, could we get rid of dark matter by just tweaking gravity? Uh, it, it really appears to be unlikely. لم يخطئ أينشتاين بعد إذن لكن هل أصاب بقية العلماء؟ أولئك الذين يلهثون وراء اكتشاف ماهية هذه المادة منذ حوالي مئة عام؟ We are actually hoping that it does interact a little bit and that we might be able to detect some, some part of um, that, that interaction. So I'll give you a couple of examples. Um, one thing that dark matter might do is it might interact with normal matter just a little bit. And so in order to find that little bit, we um, uh, scientists are building big detectors um, called dark matter direct detection experiments and looking for, so they basically get a whole bunch of um, heavy atoms, things like xenon or germanium, they get a whole bunch of of that in one place, maybe like one ton of xenon in, in a place, and they put it uh, deep underground, and they, and they basically try to wait for, some, for dark matter to hit that normal matter and see some evidence of interactions. There's another kind of thing we might look for in terms of interactions of dark matter. We might actually be able to smash two dark matter particles together at really high speeds and hope that something happens. And people are doing that in a particle accelerator uh, at CERN in Switzerland um, to try to basically recreate the, the conditions of the early universe, these very, very high energies that, were, that we think were present in the early universe, and try to see some evidence that, that something happens. To my mind, one of the most interesting things about dark matter is that I think we really need it in order to form galaxies. I think we would not be able to have galaxies and planets in the universe if we didn't have dark matter that allowed, that basically acted early enough to pull the matter together and enable stars to form.